Hi everybody and welcome back to Indish Yorkshire Garden. On this little episode I just thought I'd show you and I'm going to uh, start peas off um, inside greenhouse. Get them started and get them going and then I can transplant them. Um, do, 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 do. So then, what I've, got, what I've got is one of these cell trays. Um, I've got a mix of compost multi-purpose with a bit of seed um, see compost as well, sandy, sandy, showing you, um, and also plenty of this perlighting as well. Now I've got these cells packed really, really tight because the root systems on peas, as they grow, as you know, they get pretty um, decent, shall we say. <laughs> They've got really good root systems and they tend to go all over. So what I've also done is underneath, I've just cut these up a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me, frogging my throat. So I've just cut them a little bit with, the, with some scissors and then it gives the roots plenty of room to come out. And what I'm going to do is put these in trays of water so they get water from underneath um, and getting all the hydration they need that way. Um, <coughs> they grow pretty quick when they've once they've started, so maybe come by uh, two weeks they might be up, up till about here something like that lovely and green little shoots so like I say it's packed nice and tight in each one of these cells bottoms are cut and we can go ahead and uh, put a speeze in yeah the weather's getting uh, a lot better now a lot more bearable in greenhouse and all that still got some tidying up to do here and there but uh, as and when, let me lash you. All being well. <laughs> um, I have got some more videos coming up. As you know, I like uh, experimenting with, with the exotic. And um, I've actually got some, I've got some more fampa uh, seeds, some more wisteria seeds, and I'm going to show you how to do that because I didn't show it here on me other videos, but I'm going to show you how to plant them wisteria seeds. Um, yes, a cactus wisteria. Yeah, I've got some cactus as well, fan palms, and also something that's known as the cabbage palm. Um, that's a cordialis australis or something like that. That's what it's called anyway. Somewhat weird like that, Latin sounding. So watch out for them videos as well. So one in each, push it quite deep into there, into them, into them. And you can feel the give at the bottom of these cell trays because you've cut them. And like I said, that'll um, give the roots plenty, of, plenty of play space when they do actually um, take root and start growing. Cover them each of these. Yeah, if you go up to your, maybe your first crease on your finger. Depending on how big your fingers are, obviously. Um, mine are more like sausages, sausage fingers. That's why I'm never good at playing recorder in infant school. They put me onto that big and that called a tenor recorder. Anyway, enough about that. So there you go. That's some old one. That's one trade done. I'm going to do a shed load more. <laughs> and uh, like I say, I'm going to pop these into a tray of water. And let nature take its course. So thanks for watching. That's how I'm doing my peas this year to start them off, and uh, we'll see how things go. And I'll report back later. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Toodaloo.